Hello children, I welcome you all to this class of mathematics. I have some interesting pictures for you. Please have a look at these pictures. By now, you must have recognized almost all the persons standing in these pictures. Yes, you all are right. These are our very favorite Bollywood stars standing in a row. Can you tell at which position is Sri Amitabh Bachchan standing? Well, some of you may say he is standing second from your left and some of you might say that he is standing at the fifth position from your right. And yes, both answers are correct as per your position from where you have started counting. Now, have a look at the next picture. Yes, it is the picture of the players of the Indian cricket team along with their coach and other supporting staffs. Now, if I ask you at what position MS Dhoni or Birat Kohli is present. So, now like in the previous case, you might answer as second position from your right or eighth position from your left for MS Dhoni. But there can be more answers because there are two rows. You have also to mention the row number. So you need to specify that it is in the first row or second row. Is not it? When I go to a stadium to watch a match or a movie hall to watch a movie, tickets are given to us for a particular seat. Have you ever noticed that the seat number consists of a row number and a column number? For this seat is specified by two numbers. Can you think why is it done so? Yes, you are right. Doing so will specifically pinpoint the seat which has been given to you. No other person will have the same seat number in the hall. Let us see another example. On this paper, I have made a dot. If I ask you to tell me where the dot is located on the paper, can you tell? Again, some of you might say this is located on the lower half of the paper or near the left edge of the paper. Or some of you might measure the distance of the point from one of the sides of the paper to and say that it is located at a certain distance from the left or the right side from the upper or lower edge of the paper. So children, from these examples, we understand that to locate the position of any object on a plane, we need to specify its distance from at least two positions. So today we are going to learn something about locating points or position on a plane. The branch of mathematics which deals with locating points and position on a two-dimensional plane is known as coordinate geometry. Mathematics is the cumulative result of the efforts of numerous individuals working over hundreds or even thousands of years. Therefore, it is often difficult to ascribe the development of any particular branch of mathematics to its originator. The invention of coordinate geometry is customarily credited to René Descartes, one of the greatest mathematicians of 17th century. He indeed established a bridge between the ideas of geometry and algebra as explained in the book titled La Geometry. And the subject was popularized by the Dutch mathematician Franz van Schoten in his book Geometry by René Descartes. It is probably not unreasonable to say that our modern ideas of coordinate geometry were inspired by Descartes but organized and popularized by Scotton. So children, 
you have studied number line in the chapter on number system. On the number line, distance from a fixed point are marked equal units positively in one direction and negatively in the other direction. The point from which the distance are marked is called the origin. We use the number line to represent the numbers by marking points on a line at equal distance. If one unit distance represents the number 1, then five distance represent the number 5, 0 being the origin. The point in the positive direction at a distance r from the origin represents the number r. The point in the negative direction at a distance r from the origin represents the number minus r. This is number line. You all know about this thing. 0 is the origin and we have marked 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on in the positive direction and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 in negative direction. And the distance between two consecutive numbers is always one unit. Descartes invented the idea of placing two such lines perpendicular to each other on a plane and locating points on the plane by referring the to these lines. So student, you know the number line? So this is the number line. We are denoting O as origin or this is 0. Now we are taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the positive direction and in negative direction we take minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So this is a number line. It can be extended both the sides. Now if we draw another perpendicular line which is also passing through origin and if we mark the number on this also then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the positive direction we are taking. So obviously this is the negative direction. So this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on. We also here can extend the line both the direction. So we are taking this is as x axis or this is horizontal axis and the vertical axis we say this is y axis. We denote the positive direction as OX and the negative direction as OX dash. In the same way the vertical line the positive direction is denoted by OY and the negative direction is denoted by OY dash. So, previously you know the number line what Descartes done that he invented the idea of placing another such line which is perpendicular to the previous one 
and so therefore this is vertical also. Now you may see these two lines divided this whole plane. If we consider this white board as a plane or if you are drawing this thing on your copy, then if you consider your page as a plane, then these two lines, one horizontal and one vertical, divided this whole plane into four regions. These two lines, they are called x-axis and y-axis. Together with this plane is called Cartesian plane. So, you may see here also that this x-axis that means horizontal line and y-axis that is the vertical line divided the whole plane into four regions. The OX direction is called the positive direction of x-axis and vertical above direction is called the positive direction of y-axis. OX dash direction is called the negative x-axis and OY dash direction is called the negative y-axis. The horizontal line X dash X is called the X axis and the vertical line Y Y dash is called the Y axis. The point where X dash X and Y dash Y cross is called the origin and is denoted by 0. Since the positive number lie on the direction O X and O Y, O X and O Y are called the positive direction of the x-axis and the y-axis respectively. Similarly, OX dash and OY dash are called the negative direction of the x-axis and the y-axis respectively. You observe that the axis divide the plane into four parts. These four parts are called the quadrants. And they have numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is the first quadrant. This is second quadrant. This one is third quadrant. And this one is fourth quadrant. So, the plane consists of the axis and these quadrants. We call the plane the Cartesian plane or the coordinate plane or the xy plane. The axis are called the coordinate axis. And in the first quadrant as x is also positive and y is also positive. So here both the x and y are positive. In second quadrant you may see that here x is negative but y is positive. In the same way, you can easily identify that in quadrant 3, both x and y are negative. And what about at the, of the quadrant 4? Here, the x is positive and y is negative. So, now, you are getting some idea about the coordinate geometry. Now, let us find the distance of a point from the axis. Now, we have to find the distance of a point from these two axes. Let us take a point A on the plane. So, we have to find out the distance of the point A from x axis as well as from y-axis. So, to find the perpendicular distance of the point A from both the axes, let us drop the perpendiculars from A upon x-axis and upon y-axis. So, you may see that AC is the perpendicular upon y-axis from A and AB 
is the perpendicular upon x axis from A. Now you may count that what is the distance of A from x axis and what is the distance of A from y axis. So distance of A from y axis is AC. Distance means obviously perpendicular distance. So AC from the figure you may easily say that AC is equal with OB and that is equal to 4 units. It is very much clear from the pictures. Again BA that is equal to OC and that is equal with 3 units. So the distance of the point A from the x axis is 3 units and the distance of the point A from y axis is 4 units. So through coordinate geometry we can find the distance of a particular point from both the axis. Now we usually follow some convention in coordinate geometry. What are these convention? First is x coordinate of a point that is also called apsis is its perpendicular distance from the y axis measured along the x axis, positive along the positive direction of the x axis and negative along the negative direction of the x axis. Second, y coordinates of a point that is also called ordinate is its perpendicular distance from the x axis measured along y axis. Here also positive along the positive direction of y axis and negative along the negative direction of the y axis. And third convention, in stating the coordinates of a point in the coordinate plane, the x coordinate comes first, then the y coordinate, separated by a comma written within the small brackets. So these three conventions we have to remember whenever we will deal in coordinate geometry. So now let us go to our previous problem that the distance of the point A from both the axes are 3 and 4 that means 3 from x axis and 4 from y axis. So as per our convention we have to write the coordinates of A. Then what would be the coordinate of the point A? Yes you are right the coordinates of the point are 4 comma minus 3 and we have to write this coordinate within a small bracket. So here 4 is the distance of the point A from y axis that's why this is 4 and the distance of the point A from x axis is 3 and it is located in the positive direction of x axis and negative direction of y axis. That's why 4 comma minus 3 or this is the fourth quadrant that we have already discussed in fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative. Let us take another example. Write the coordinates of the point. So let us write the coordinates of the point here D is a point. We want to write the coordinates of it. So then how we can write the coordinates? We have to find out the perpendicular distance of D from both the axes. So first we have to measure the perpendicular distance from Y axis that will give the X coordinate. Then we have to measure the perpendicular distance of the point D from X axis that will give the 
y coordinate and you may see that it belongs to which quadrant this is in first quadrant so here x is also positive and y is also positive so what is the distance of d from y axis and x axis you see here the distance of d from y axis is 2 units and distance of d from x axis is 3 units so the coordinate of d is 2 comma 3 so the distance of the point g from the x axis is 2 units and the distance of the point g from y axis is 6 units and both are in the negative directions. So, the coordinates of g are minus 6 comma minus 2. The both the direction is negative or it belongs to the third quadrant. So, in third quadrant x is negative as well as y is also negative. So, the distance of g from y axis is 2 units therefore the x coordinate will be minus 2 and the distance of g from y axis is 6 units so the y coordinates is minus 6 therefore the coordinates of g are minus 2 comma minus 6 now let us giving you a problem write the coordinates of the point C, D and E. So, this is another problem you have to do that you have to write the coordinates of C, D and E. So, it is easy for you that how can you find the coordinates of D, E and C. If you consider the point C, the point C lying on the y axis. So, what would be the distance of the point C from y axis? As it is lying on the y axis, so the distance of the point C from the y axis is 0. So, now it is very much clear to you that any point lying on the y axis then its x coordinate will be 0. And at the same time, if a point lying on the x axis, then its distance from the x axis is 0. Therefore, the coordinate or the y coordinate of any point which is lying on the x axis is 0. So, let us find the coordinate of C. The coordinate of C is if you measure that 1, 2, 3. The distance of C from x axis is 3 units and it is lying on the y axis. So, the coordinates of the point C is 0, 3. What about E? The its distance from the y axis is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units and it is on the x axis as well as it is on the negative direction of the x axis. So, its coordinate is x coordinate is minus 4 and y coordinate is 0. Therefore, the coordinate of E is minus 4 comma 0. And what about D? You see D is a point, the distance of D from x axis as well as y axis is 2. Therefore, the coordinate of D is 2 comma minus 2. 2 x coordinate is positive because it is belongs to the a positive direction of x axis and y is negative because it belongs to the negative direction of the 
y axis or we may say that this is belongs to the fourth quadrant that is why x component is positive and y component is negative. Let us conclude this class with an assignment. You may see the figure. So, from this following figure, you have to complete the given four statements. So, in this diagram, four points are there A, B, C, and D. The four problems are related with this four points. So, you may take a photo or screenshot of this problem and I think you can able to do this problem very easily. So, students today we have learned about the coordinate plane and if a point is given then how can we find the coordinate of that point. Now students the reverse also you may think if the coordinate is given then how can we locate that particular point. So you may think about that we will discuss this thing in our next class. Thank you.